a good enough shot. What about with the... Oh, he's coming closer. He's coming. He's coming. Come on. Drawn to the light. Yeah, yeah, they, these you are. Hope I miss him. Hey guys, so I just got in from work and I had a message from one of my good friends, John Moore, who invited me to go to Lafia gigging. So I've never been before. He said he had one spot left on the boat, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna uh, head out to Lake Okeechobee and we're gonna take the airboat out and go look for some tilapia. So fingers crossed, I find something. I've never had a wild caught tilapia before. So I would probably like to make it a catch, clean and cook and we'll see if we get anything. All right, oh, I see. Yeah, I it is on the bolt or is it on? Is it on the bolt or is it no, whatever that one? On. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Either one of those, it makes just a good contact. So I like to put them kind of sideways. Okay. Yeah, Both put them, them inside, inside sideways. Like that. Yeah, that, way. Oh, okay. that way we don't kick them or pull them off. But you did that correctly. The red goes first, then the black. Okay, good. <laughs> Nothing's gonna explode. This is Mr. John Moore. This is his airboat. We're heading out. That's Richie. Can't see Richie. <laughs> Stuff right there. You got it. <laughs> there he is, right there. Should come up the grass. Into them where you push them forward and up. Yeah. 
Alright, there's more here, I think. You got it? That's a nice one, that's a nice one. Well, guys, it is 3 a.m. <laughs> it was a really, really fun night. That was the first time I ever got to go gigging for tilapia. And for most of the time, it was a good two hours before we even found any fish. And it was, it was a beautiful night out there. The stars were incredible. And we found that first tilapia, and <laughs> it was so cool. It was really neat to see what they look like underwater. And then we just, we kept finding them. They were all in the same area. And we spent a good hour, hour and a half just getting some good ones and got a cooler full. So we got some dinner and I totally fell asleep in the back of the truck and I am going straight to bed right now. No shower, I don't care. I'll, I'll wash my bedding rather than get a shower right now because I need some sleep. So I'll show you all the catch, clean, and cook part of it tomorrow, and I've never had uh, gigged tilapia before, so I'm really looking forward to that. Hey guys, it's day two of the tilapia gigging adventure. Last night was so cool. I got in super, super late, but it was a great time. Thank you so much to John Moore and Richie Brown. They were so patient with me and they taught me so much about gigging. Little did I know how hard it was to keep one of those tilapia on the spear, but uh, I had a great time. So woke up this morning and I'm feeling it. That 3 a.m. gets you, but uh, I'm going out later with Alex. So. Uh, you might have seen Alex in one of my videos uh, where we were camping on the bridge. She's coming over later. We're going to enjoy the tilapia, so I'm going to get it cleaned, and then I'm going to get cleaned. I'm actually going to get a shower. <laughs> so uh, I'll show you guys the process, and then a little bit later, we're going to go enjoy it. So here's our catch from last night. We got 15. Some good size ones, too. I'm going to get them out on the table here in a second. I can tell you, I probably got five. Richie, <laughs> Richie was left and right. He had seen them, and it was it was cool. It was, it was an experience to watch that, and then to actually be able to do it was even cooler. Uh, so I probably got five of the fifteen. <laughs> I don't know what y'all would call these, but these kind of look like teeth to me. <laughs> so I've never cleaned a tilapia before but I did look up a video, thank you dear meat for dinner, because it showed me that I need to get under the scales, not on top of them because it would be a lot harder to clean them or cut through, it would be harder on the knife. So I'm gonna try to cut under the scales, go down, go around, and then come back up. So we'll see how I do with this knife. If I have to, I'll just switch it out. There we go. Wow. These are hard to cut through. I'm just following the spine. There's their rib cage right here, so you want to cut around that. Follow it down.
Achilles. <laughs> That's gonna be good. We're gonna eat our mystery meat. I did not tell her what this is. <laughs> Alex, this is the only clue that you get right now. <laughs> it's mystery meat. <laughs> I don't know. Those when scales are pretty snapper. big. <laughs> All right, this is from last night. Alex does not know, know, know what it is. Supposedly, it's one of the best meats. Yeah? Okay, guesses. What do you think it is? What else? It's not kingfish. You said it's kingfish earlier. Dolphin. No. I caught it last night. Puffer? Very easy. <laughs> and Lake Okotobi. Trout. No. I'm feeling in for the fish I know. <laughs> but okay, a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, 10, 12, a 12 9. Okay. <laughs> um, what do you call those? Sandfish? Um, catfish. No. Um, Never would I give you a catfish. Another, I don't know what else is in Lake Okotobi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's tilapia. Tilapia? Tilapia. Tilapia. I love tilapia. Of course it's tilapia. It's wild. Girl. That was the next one I was gonna say. Do you know how we catch those? With a hook. <laughs> That's why I take Alex. <laughs> All right, we're gonna enjoy this. Alex, you liked it. You said you said it was pretty good. I hope you can actually hear what she was saying because it was kind of loud there. <laughs> Uh, but it's a nice local restaurant and I have a lot of good friends there just from going But um, so Alex and I are actually going to be in El Salvador next week next weekend uh, We leave for El Salvador. If you guys want to see uh, what we do there. I have a few videos and um, It's under Steven's story on the playlist So if you want to just see a really cool thing that we we're able to be a part of while we were there uh, but pretty much we're going to be taking our nursing students and we're going to go see patients in rural community in El Salvador and uh, we'll be working with a local doctor there. So that's where I'll be next week and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm excited that Alex is coming too. Uh, she came her senior year, it was our senior year, and this is going to be her second time back. So now she's leading the trip with me and hopefully uh, we'll find a lot of patients there that uh, need help. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll keep you updated. <laughs> Where to? Let's go to the lake. Let's go fishing. Que bien ya todavía.